There you are. Welcome home. What's wrong? Nothing. Just things on my mind. Don't worry about it. I can't help but worry. We're finally getting the chance to talk, but you don't seem happy. It's like you don't even know how to smile anymore. Right now, this is the best I can do. Not that I was ever good at it. It's okay. I can make you smile again. You just have to go back to the days when the future still looked bright. When was that? Back before we made all those mistakes. Before we started messing around with gods and fell sea. We thought it was our destiny to fight for the world and the future. But all those battles, all those struggles, they didn't mean anything in the end. Was it all a mistake? Even the journey you went on with Noah? Well, what else would you call it? We risked everything, but in the end we couldn't save the future and I died. If that's not a mistake, what is? That's why I have to get rid of it. Throw it all away. It didn't mean a thing. It's done and gone. No regrets, just a clean slate. We're going to have a new world, and you and I will be just like we used to be way back when. Listen, Sarah. Let me say this. If that journey was a mistake, I'm the one who has to bear the blame. Because I sent you. It's me who has to pay the price. All you did was try your best. There's nothing wrong with that. It didn't turn out like I'd hoped, but it wasn't a mistake. You tried to do something that was good and right. You must never throw that away. Maybe. But I... I don't want to remember it again. I just want to forget it all. Right. When she said that, I didn't believe her. She'd always been able to accept hardship, fight through it, and be stronger for it. Lumina's words came back to me. She said the only fake I know is Sarah. No, that couldn't be right. The problem was in me, making me doubt her. But it was no good. The terrible thought had formed in my mind. The seed was planted. What if this Sarah was fake? And my memories of her too. Give us a reprieve so that I can save more souls. Nice work, Light. Light, I lost contact with you again while you were being teleported. Did you notice anything abnormal?
true. Watch over all of us. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm out of flour, so I haven't been able to bake today. Oh, Marlin, you're so kind to come all this way just to tell me that. Never mind, I'll just have extras tomorrow. You won't have to wait that long, I promise. I'll be back later. I've decided to tell Renolf the truth. The cold, harsh, unforgiving truth of his past. Even though it could cause him to lose a dear friend. Renolf, I know who killed your family. He lives right here in Luxarian. He's been in hiding since he committed that crime. Are you sure? Who is he? The man's name is Reddick. His home is in the Warren for obvious reasons, and I found out something else about him too. But I'm not sure you really want to hear it. I'd like to know, please. I'm done running from the past. I'd even forgotten about the family I once loved. From now on, I'm seeing things for what they really are. All right. This Reddick, the man who killed your family, he has a stepson. His name. It's Marlin. What? You mean my Marlin? What are you going to do? Are you going to inform the Order of this information that's come to light? Or do you want to take matters into your own hands? I... I'd rather not do anything. I just want to continue spending my days just like this. Nothing more. After all, we have few days left. You forgive him? No, but I'd rather Marlon didn't know. Imagine what it would be like to find out your father is a killer. You've helped me discover the truth, and I have no regrets. Marlon's innocent. What would be the point of burdening him with this sort of knowledge? His smile is what kept me going all this time. His friendship is what saved me. I don't want revenge. I also don't want to be the reason Marlon loses his father. If that's what you want, I'll respect your wishes. The case has already been closed, and the suspect declared dead. No reason to bring him back to life now. Thank you. My family would have wanted it this way. I can almost feel them smiling at me from above. Besides, I wouldn't want anything like this to stop Marlon from baking those delicious muffins of his. <laughs> I'll continue to chronicle my life in my journal but only about the precious moments I spent with my wife and daughter. I just want to document my memories. I want to leave proof of their existence. The scenery today is the same as yesterday, but for Renolf, nothing is the same. His entire world has changed. The past can never be undone. Yet, he has chosen to exempt a stranger from punishment. He didn't need saving, just someone to remind him of his strength and courage. something. Oh, I 
a lot. I don't plan on losing. Let's do it. You bet your life, I bet mine. Don't plan on losing.
You bet your life, I bet mine. It's your funeral. You're down. You're down. <laughs> No time for hesitation. Dangerous ground. I need more time. You're so eager to die.
of dangerous ground. Your funeral. <laughs> 